Hi, I'm Molly Tuttle, and this is... I'm Kyle Tuttle. <laughs> We're here at the Garden and Gun HQ here in Charleston, South Carolina. I'm going to do a couple songs for you. This first one we're doing is off um, our upcoming album that's called City of Gold, and this song is called um, Where Did All the Wild Things Go? One, two, three. <laughs> To get down low with the doghouse or high on the hog when the Friday night lights go down. And can you howl like a greyhound? Do you like greens? And I don't mean collards, hollers, swallers, blown your last dollar a dime. And do you like to tie one on? Now the street's full of suits with hundred dollar haircuts. Used to cut loose, now it's uptight, airbrush, scratching my head, cause I really, really wanna know. Let it all A little bit mad Cause you just caught rabies, man And are you going off the deep end? Do you like jamming, rambling, gambling Slamming them back Till you don't know what you're standing on Passed out in the port of John Now this town's been tamed Like a bear in a cage Like a broke down train Like the fire hits rain Wrecking my brain Cause I really, really wanna know Let loose, get juiced and howl Ooh, Sometimes you gotta raise the roof Shake the blues, break through Make the news before it all goes south Sometimes you gotta get loud Sometimes you gotta rise up to get down Sometimes you gotta I'm all right, everybody's coming in hot We're gonna divvy up the jackpot Till the party lights out and the police are coming Everybody's running to throw another diesel down Come on and let's blow this town Cause you can cut out the fangs of a parapet vipers But this here tiger is just getting wild All you wild things stand up and let them know California and um, my father is a music teacher. He um, grew up playing bluegrass with his family out in Illinois. He grew up on a farm out there and moved out to California. Um, and so I grew up in a musical household. My two younger brothers both um, played music with me growing up and we used to play with our dad as well and just kind of travel around California to different bluegrass festivals. Um, and then I moved out to Nashville. I've lived there for about eight years and made a couple records that were kind of a departure from the music I grew up with. And then um, for my last record, Crooked Tree, I felt really called to kind of make a bluegrass record again and kind of 
um, write songs that were inspired by the songs I grew up playing at Bluegrass Jams. And so I formed the band Golden Highway, which um, Kyle's been playing with me now for like a year and a half, I think. Our first show was in 2022 yeah. in January. Um, and the, the rest of the band has been so much fun. Um, I've known everyone in the band for a decade at least, and so it was fun to kind of come together and join forces um, on the latest project. And we just recorded a record, our first band record, in January of this year, and really excited to be putting it out this summer. That last song was um, one of the singles from the record, and that was our first time ever really playing it live. So, <laughs> All right, well, we're going to do the title track off of my record, Crooked Tree, that came out last year, and this has been such a special song for me. It's a song I wrote um, based on my experiences growing up and just um, feeling kind of like I didn't belong at times. And so I wrote this song for anyone who has something they've overcome in their life, and this is just a song about celebrating our differences. <laughs> Two trees in the forest, one was crooked, one was straight. Crimson bark and emerald needles growing day by day. And though they look so different, they enjoy the rain the same side by side. A chickadee told them of a darkness on the land. Spinning blades that came to visit, carried by a man. And every other tree would see them cut down where they stand by and by. Oh, can't you see a crooked tree? Won't fit into the mill machine. They love to grow wild and free. Oh, I'd rather be a crooked tree. was um, very exciting. It was, I, it all started with making the record Crooked Tree and writing it and just feeling so inspired um, to, to write all these bluegrass songs that kind of told my story. That was something I always struggled with in the past is um, fitting like my personal stories into this style of music that 
um, is kind of an older style of music and it's it came to be in the southern part of the United States. I grew up in California. I was like, how do I fit my upbringing and my personal stories into this genre that feels so, like the songs are so different from my story. Usually the lyrics um, don't really tell my story personally um, in bluegrass songs. So yeah, just writing these songs with a handful of friends who I really loved writing with and then going into the studio, it all just flowed so naturally and I felt so much more confident about this last record than I had about my work in the past. Um, and it was so great getting to share it on the road with Kyle and the rest of the band all year and getting to feel that love back from the bluegrass community. And um, the cool thing about the Grammys is that it's like your peers, other musicians, people in the music industry who are voting for those awards. So it meant a lot to me to get that recognition by my peers in the Nashville community and the bluegrass community and the Roots music scene as a whole. Um, and I actually haven't gotten my Grammy in the mail yet. <laughs> it's been, I'm like waiting for it, checking the mail every day. When is my Grammy coming? <laughs> this next song is one called Dooley's Farm. This was written, um, it kind of came to be through an older song called Dooley that I grew up listening to as a kid, which was about an old moonshiner who ran the still with his two granddaughters in the song. And I thought it would be fun to kind of write like uh, updated version of Dooley and um, cast him as like a modern day outlaw. So this is, that's how this song came to be. It's called Dooley's Farm. Two, three, four. Old Dooley was raised Carolina Got his schooling out in Vietnam Tucks his hair up in a pioneer seed cap When he's bringing his cash crop in Now everybody said he's just a simple tin farmer Plowing hundred acres out in Sugar Grove Smiling at you from an IH tractor But there's a secret down in every road
part of what I love about music is getting to collaborate with other artists, um, whether that's like sitting in with someone at a festival, having someone play on my record, playing on someone else's record, or just getting together and having a jam session. Um, that's something I've always really loved and I've gotten the privilege of playing with a lot of my heroes, um, both on my record and uh, when we cross paths on the road as well. And I think that's something that's also really cool about this kind of music is there's like this common vocabulary of songs, but also we can all improvise and like learn different styles of songs um, because we've spent so many hours kind of like learning how to play music on the spot and make up solos and play over different chord progressions and different styles. On the record, Crooked Tree, I had um, Gillian Welch, Margot Price, Old Crow Medicine Show, Sierra Hall, Dan Tominski um, and so many other heroes of mine. And that was so much fun. It was such a great collaborative record. And then on this last record, City of Gold, I wanted to keep it more so focused on the band. Um, but we did have one special guest, Dave Matthews, sang on a song and I got to um, go out to his festival in Cancun um, a couple months ago and sing the song with him live, which was really fun. And then play on some of his songs, which was amazing. He's one of my, I just love his music so much. What we have coming up next is just a lot of a lot of tour dates. We're releasing the album this year, and oh, and I should say on that last song, Billy String sang and played guitar on it, and he's one that I've gotten to jam with a bunch on stage as well. And we're all friends with Billy and his band, and they're such a fun band to collaborate with. Um, but coming up next, we have a lot of festivals, a lot of tour dates coming up in the fall and summer, just kind of the same stuff. <laughs> well, for our last song, we're gonna do one called Over the Line. One, two, three, four. This feeling that I hold There's poison in your kiss But I've got one too many ties to you One too many tries for you I'm tumbling down the mountainside for you And I can't say I'm mine When love goes over the line
Carmen again. It's so great to be here with you all. And um, yeah, thanks. Thank <laughs> you.